Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Madman24, and today I'm going to be doing number 35 of the Monster Truck Unboxing Series. Oh my gosh, that's how far we've gotten. So today, we're going to be unboxing the new Zombie Monster Jam truck. So first, taking a look at this truck, it's displayed in the package very well, and I will get to why I like this version over the old version more a little bit later. On the back, you have a bunch of trucks that you can try to find. I'm not saying try to find, but if you want to try to become an avid collector and find these, go ahead. I won't stop you. And this is a part of the Crazy Creatures category, and you choose the winner, even though most of the guys are a little bit underwhelming. So, let's unbox this thing. So here is the new Zombie by Monster Jam Spin Master. So first, you got your ramp with the hazards and the zombie. Then, if we set that aside the truck for a second, you have a purple driver, which does absolutely nothing for me. I don't know why they keep making these. I don't like them. I know some people do, but I'm just not one of those people. You got the... Uh, calling card in case something bad happens and you have a poster which I will not bore you with so set those aside and boom walking dead or driving dead so first taking a look at the detail everything is molded into the plastic and metal bodies absolutely perfectly the zombie logo is displayed well with the brain pulsing out of the top with some hair coming off the side they did a very good job with this design, making it kind of as realistic as possible to the real truck, which is really good. And just like the real truck, it has silver rims, which I am very, very proud of. And something that Spin Master is doing that Mattel never did, they are putting the arms on the zombie to make it look as physically 100% real as possible. Looking at one of the arms, they can do a full 360-degree exorcist, except they could if the wheel wasn't in their way. Oh, there we go. So they can go 360 degrees around, even though it's not recommended to pop the arms off. But still, looks very, very realistic with the arms on. Normally, when they're kind of setting it up in the pit party, they will put it up on, like, a tire and lean it forward to make it look like a zombie kind of actually reaching out, which I always appreciate for Monster Jam going the extra mile. So, final thoughts on zombie. Gotta love this thing. It's incredible. They went the extra mile to put the arms on, and that's absolutely worth it. I paid $3 for this in Walmart, and you probably should too. This truck is absolutely stunning. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you've like watched The Walking Dead before and if you have who's your favorite character or characters. So thanks again so much for watching and have a great day.